One of the things I would like to talk to you today has to do with sometimes making your engraved piece pop a little bit more. Sometimes when we engrave into certain wood, such as simple plywood or a lighter colored wood, the engraving looks nice, but it doesn't have a lot of color definition to it. One of the ways to make it pop a little bit with the laser is to actually create two different layers that are identical. So in this case, I've got some text on the screen here. And I'm just going to leave it outlined so we can see what it is. I'm going to go in here and in Corel Draw, hit Control D, which you can see makes a second copy of it. At this point, I'm going to change that color of one of those objects to a different layer color. And then I'm going to set it right back exactly on top of what I just engraved. So it looks like everything is blue, but you actually have two layers there. If you were to go into here and actually send this to your laser software, you can see that you have two different layers here. The first layer is the black. So what we would do there is we would want to do that as a regular engraving. So I'm just going to choose some values that I typically use for this. Um, I like to do 600 a lot because obviously it's faster and you can get it done quicker. You could make the engraving darker by dropping this down to 400 if you wanted to, but that's not always feasible. At any rate, um, once you've got that layer color set up, then we go to the blue layer. On this one, I'm going to leave the leave it in cut mode with a speed of 75. I only have a single laser head, so I don't need to have that second one checked down there. And then I'm going to do 13 and 15. 13 means that's the minimum power that it's going to use when it's doing the slowdowns in the corner. So that hopefully should give us a nice clean effect all the way around. I never use this either. I just turn that off. So now if we go into the simulate mode, you can kind of see what it's going to do. The first thing it's going to do, and let's increase the simulation speed a little bit. It's going to go through and do just the regular etch and engrave. And this is going to take a little while because it must be a little bit larger image than anticipated, but that's fine. So after it gets done doing the engraving portion of it, then what it's going to actually do is it's going to go around and actually outline the lettering. And as soon as it gets done to the end of the engraving here, I'm going to slow the simulate speed around so we can hopefully see the crosshairs moving. There's the crosshair moving right there. And you can see it's outlining the letter. So what's going to do is it's basically going to do a kind of a um, wood burning border around the edge. So that's the uh, corral draw portion and I'll put a video on here, a time lapse video of it actually etching out so you can actually see what the final result is going to be. Here is the final engraved image. As you can see, the etching is a little dark on here. I probably used a higher power setting than I should have for the demo purposes, but this will still suit us fine. If you scroll, zoom in, at the last part of the time-lapse video, you notice that it, the laser went and outlined each one of the letters. So if you zoom in here, you can actually kind of see that it's a little bit darker on the outline of each of the letters. That helps give it a little bit more pop and definition um, in your final product. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more.